Hi everyone, I'm Melissa. I am the middle-aged redoer. Yesterday we went shopping. Daisy and I packed up, bundled up, got warm, and we went we went on an adventure and it was great. It is cold here in New England. Today in Connecticut it's a balmy 24 degrees. So I thought it would be fun to put together a nice little haul video today and show you our adventures. Now for those of you that haven't met uh, me before, I am Melissa. I am middle-aged and I like to resell on eBay primarily. Um, and a few other platforms that I'm trying uh, and I'm on prime like I said primarily eBay and I have an antique booth that I sell some goodies and I'm doing all of this to pay off debt and just to have some fun and enjoy myself which I'm doing <laughs> so uh, I let's take a minute and get in and and sit down we have our tea we have our tea it's a sunny day at least it's freezing you can't go outside without risking frostbite <laughs> i should have moved south the moving north was not was not really where my body wanted to be but that's okay uh, everything else worked out in my favor so Let's get in. Let's let's see what kind of treasures we found. Um, it was an interesting day. We went to a handful of places. You'll see the videos coming up um, this week. I hope to sit down and edit them today and get them up and running. But but let's see let's see what treasures we found. Um, so in my area, well, everybody's area, I'm sure now. Uh, th there's been some online. Um, auction sites that I go to. Now, I, I get the emails about them um, several days before they uh, are set to go off. And I go through and I pick out some of the treasures that I like and bid on them. And you know, I'm cheap, cost effective, whichever the case may be, right? And I um, find some things that I like. I bid my dollar or two or whatever I'm going to bid and kind of set and forget it. <laughs> And I don't go back in and watch to see how the auctions are going. So the last couple auctions, um, I found I've won some really great things um, for next to nothing. But I've driven what seems like the end of the earth, maybe a half an hour away, to pick up things that I bought for a dollar. This is twice now, twice. Twice the last two weekends, I had driven for a half an hour to pick up a dollar's worth of inventory. This week, though, I'm going to make a decent amount of money off of what I um, bought for a dollar. <laughs> and it took me to places where I met some really great people and found some pretty cool treasures that I'm also going to make some money off of. And a couple things that I'm going to keep for myself because they're pretty awesome. So... My caffeine level is falling. A little more tea. And let's see, let's see what we find. A couple of these things you saw last time. I got them listed last night. Things are ready for, I think last time I showed you my, my Fenton Silvercrest tidbit tray. This is gonna go, this is gonna go in the booth. I swung over to the booth this morning. Can only be there, um, as a vendor from 10 to 12 and I got there at uh, 1140 <laughs> Yay, I was killing it um, but I got in before 12 and out pretty close to 12 o'clock um, and fluffed and dusted a couple things and and checked to see what sold and hallelujah some things sold um, which always makes me happy because eBay's been dead eBay's been crickets I sold a bunch of stuff Sunday and this week, nothing. Until last night, I sold a toothpaste. So it's going to be interesting to see when we sit down next weekend to find out what money I have to pay off some more bills. But like, like Mr. Always, always said when he was delivering Twinkies, um, the, the last two weeks of January, the first two weeks of February, the weather's always the worst and the money's always the worst. 
after Christmas, people just don't have the money there. They're just not shopping. So I'm not, I'm not sad about it. It's okay. And I've taken a little bit of break. I, I haven't gone in as much and organized as much just because letting things sell down a little bit. It, it, it's fine. It's fine. You know, any money is good money and I'm grateful for that. So let's dive in. Okay. So yesterday, my dollar auction, one of the items I got were these really cute coffee cups. And they're made by, let me see, which ends up, yeah. I don't know if you can see, oh, it's backwards. Uh, w. Bach made in Japan. There were 11 of these and I put them on I think I put them on auction last night starting at $12. If I get $12 for 11 of these cups we've already m made 120% because remember I paid 11 or $1 one dollar plus tax and and the fees okay maybe a dollar 83 i paid in total for what i'm about to show you so there you go 11 coffee cups and they're beautiful they're in great shape i don't know i wasn't i wasn't sad about it i was not sad i set a couple of these aside to see what else is down in my little treasure box So I guess this is what motivated me to go and uh, not be, not just let my dollar kind of go back to the uh, organizers. Um, I found this wedge, in that lot was this Wedgwood uh, oval vegetable platter. I mean by Wedgwood. Let's see. And it's, it's in excellent condition. I have it up, I believe $32. Is, is in the neighborhood of what others were listed for. I'm sorry, you folks that are letting things go for $4. Why are you doing that? Don't. Don't. I mean, I know you gotta sell stuff. I, I get it. But why? Why? When, I mean, really, comps are are more. So, <laughs> I have it up for $32. And and we'll see. I, I won't be sad if I get around $25 for it. That won't upset me. And then um, I, I don't do free shipping on nearly anything anymore in my store. Um, so that that's what I hope to get out of that. Uh, and then these two little treasures in this in the dollar were these beautiful cup and saucers so I have one orange one white and they are made by Okura Okura China in Japan I don't know can you see can you see now you tell me in the comments please you tell me. Um, but I was finding comps for brand new of these. For even just, I think it was one, um, for a couple hundred dollars. And they're selling. And maybe not tons, not like hotcakes. Um, that seemed a little, a little much for me. Especially since I got, what, well, 12 14 pieces of things for a dollar so i put the two up for 65 buy it now um and they're beautiful i mean this it's an orangey red i don't know if you can tell it's like it's a beautiful orangey red and a really nice white and they you can tell the quality for sure these are are a very nice set i wish there would have been more some of the, I saw a beautiful, like, um, uh, light aqua blue that went with this set. Um, I don't know. I don't know. They were gorgeous. 
I'm excited to see how this turns out. So tell me, if you know something more, do I have them priced too high? Am I priced too low? Um, Okura Japan, tell me. Leave me a comment. Tell me what I'm missing because, I mean, I don't know. It seemed... I'm excited. So if I can make, if I can make... Um, what, what did I say? I wouldn't be sad with 40, 45 for the two, 25, 65 plus 15, $75 off of that dollar. Um, that's a pretty exciting flip for that $1 auction that I forgot about that I had to drive 45 minutes to get to um, in the cold. And, and it was a fun adventure. Nonetheless, it was great. So I'm excited to see how that turns out. Now, before, before Daisy and I um, headed north to Massachusetts, we stopped at our local thrift store. They've been closed since the holidays. They take a little bit of a break. And my first time in, and I just, these these ladies, they volunteer, and I, I forget what it is that their organization kind of helps fund. But um, I like to stop and support them. And I have for years, even when I was crafting, if there was something I was looking for, if I was making bird feeders out of teacups, that's where I went. They had a heart attack when I told them what I was doing with it, but nonetheless, it was still a good time. So I stopped in there yesterday and I picked up, I could only find two, two treasures while I was there. I found this cute home co old man with his wheat, with his wheat. And his adorable chickens. Now I have a flock of chickens. I've had chickens for years and years. I just love them. They are characters. They are the best. They keep the bugs and the ticks down. And then the eggs that I get from them, not like anything you get in the grocery store. So highly recommend chickens. They're easier than the cat and dog. I'm not gonna lie. They really are. Anyway, enough about the livestock. So this little darling, his comps on eBay weren't so great. So I'm gonna put him in the booth. I, pay, I think I paid $2.50 for him and he was just in such nice condition. And I have, I have a price tag of 12, 12 on the booth. You know, I pay, I pay of course my rent plus 10%. So I, I, I don't like to price things for much under $10 there. Um, I mean, of course, if there's something that really doesn't justify it, I, I may put like eight or nine, but He's adorable, he's in great shape. Now, what I wish would have been there, um, there was a little grandma in, in the comps that went with him. Um, I wish I would have had that, that would have been fun. Hmm. Anyway, my little home co-figurine. Now, that's not a good sound. This, this next thing, this, plate was there just before the holidays and I didn't pick it up and I was sad about that now <laughs> I've been thinking about this plate since since they took their holiday break I was very excited I paid three dollars I don't know if you can see oh well, you can see it backwards next time I remember to flip this around but anyway Three dollars for this plate. Now I don't know if you can tell, but it's definitely, I believe it's recycled glass. It's not signed. It's not signed. I want to think that it's fire and light, but you know, now that I touch it a little bit more, I don't know. I don't know if the back seems quite right. You know, I had a, I told you before I had a set of fire and light candlesticks and the texture doesn't quite feel right. If you know, I mean, feel free to tell me, tell me if it's a no, that's fine. I mean, I, $3, it's not like I broke the bank on this. Um, now I'm looking, seeing some, a couple little scratches here from utensil marks. Um. I don't know. 
I don't know. We'll see. I mean, if it's not anything but just a really pretty blue plate, then that's okay. That's It can be that for $3. But wouldn't that be fun if it's fire and light? You know, I don't know how much fire and light is here in New England. I got to tell you, I don't think it's tons. I don't think it's tons. So um, we're keeping an eye out. We're keeping an eye out. So let me know what you think. I, I'm interested to see what everybody else... And, and have you guys been find, finding fire and light in your area? You tell me. Tell me, tell me. Okay, so that was our very first stop. And then we headed up to Massachusetts. And we got our our haul from, from the auction site. So by this point, Daisy, my little chihuahua darling... I was getting kind of tired of being in the car and, and being left out of the adventure. So we decided to head back towards Connecticut and um, we stopped at our first antique mall. Um, and you'll see that in, in the video this week um, called Great Barrington Antiques. Wow, I was blown away. I haven't really shopped antique stores or, you know, antique malls um, ever, ever, because, you know, I love these things that I pick up, but it's just not my thing. I mean, things on the side of the road and, and not anything fancy or not, it hasn't just been in my habit to go look for them. So I was pleasantly surprised that I did. It... I'll put a link below um, of if I can find her information. Um, the people were lovely, lovely. Now, the one thing about that was different about this antique mall versus my antique mall at Collinsville Antiques. I mean, we put stuff in there. It's it's in there. Our our vendors, our bills are full, which is great, and we have there's plenty to see. You can spend hours. They used to even have a lunch counter there that you could sit and <laughs> and get something to eat because you could spend that much time in this in this um, antique mall. This was different and wonderful because um, each little booth kind of seemed to have a theme. Um, like, like there was one that was very mid-century modern and and they kind of stuck to their decorating themes, which it was nice. It wasn't, you could really look at what items were there and focus on how you would decorate and use that in your home. Now, I didn't, I didn't find a lot of treasures to bring home just because the prices and my mind, of course, is for reselling, not, not to decorate, <laughs> which I, I, I gotta tell you, I mean, I'm older and I don't have kids that will knock stuff down and throw it across the room and kill it. So I have nice, I'm, I, I can have nicer things. You know, I got a job, I'm working, I'm making decent money with the nine to five. So I can do that. So I did pick up one thing and I thought, you know, we're going to pick it up and we're going to learn, right? I, I, like I said, the prices, the prices weren't, they weren't bad. They weren't, they were, I think, for reset, to buy, to treat yourself, they were very fair priced. Very, very fair priced. For reselling, for what I, a lot of it I couldn't touch, except for wait. Just wait till I have, show you what I have. Okay, the first treasure I picked up. Look at that color. Like, can you stand that green? Like, I, I mean, I'm a green girl. I love my green, but this, this just spoke to me. I love the texture. I love the shape. I will never use it for anything but pretty, but I found out that it was Royal Hager and Jocelyn, the, the crazy lamp lady, talks about her Royal Hager all the time. And I thought, you know what, for $28, I love this color. I love it. And you're coming home. And if I can resell you, maybe. But if I have to keep you, okay. 
It's not going to break my heart. So last night I, I, I pulled it out and got the comps and, and, and she's going to have to stay with me. I, I think I paid 28 and, and um, that's where it's reselling. Um, at least on eBay at the point right now. I mean, I don't know. Is, is this something that has its seasons um, that maybe Royal Hager goes certain times a year at different amounts? Um, and the sold, the sold certainly matched the listing prices. So, so this is going to stay on the shelf. I even found a place, um, it has a home, <laughs> it has a home, it's going to be loved. Um, and that's okay. That's okay. It was fine. I mean, you know what? We can't, we can't, everything can't all be just work and move it out. We, we have to keep some treasures that we love for ourselves too, right? So that's fine. So my first Royal Hager piece right there. We'll keep her. So in, you'll see in this video, there were quite a few, um, quite a few, uh, showcases, which are great. I mean, I try and scan them and figure out what's what. And the only thing I don't like about showcases is I can't just independently go and flip the little tag over and see, oh, is this something for me or not? You know, you have to get somebody, can you look at it? I want to know how, you know, if they don't set up the tags right. Um, so when I first walked by and got permission to start filming, um, there was somebody else that was looking in this, this one particular, um, showcase so I didn't see this when I first walked by it but but um, when I was coming back through I found these treasures and I'm pretty excited now because I'm a newbie which is fine and I'm easily amused and maybe I am totally off the mark on this but I'm very excited let me show you what I got Let me show you what I got. I got seven pieces of weeping gold. Like, but they were, I mean, really, they were gorgeous. Seven pieces in a set for 25 bucks. Like, of course, of course, I'm gonna break this up and, and so there were these three candle holders. Okay, the three candle holders. This gorgeous shell dish. This is, it says, uh, hand, hand decorated weeping bright gold. USA is what it says because I didn't turn it around, but that's it. That's what it says. So this beautiful, this beautiful dish. And then there are these three smaller dishes. These little leaves. So cute. So, so fun. So mid-century. A vase. How pretty. I mean, can you stand that? So kitsch. I love it. Love it. And then... And then this candy dish. And I mean, they were in such perfect condition. I'm like, how is this all $25 for all of these pieces? Like how? Even the owner's like, you take that to your booth and you, you part that all out. And I'm like, that's exactly what I'm going to do. The comps on eBay, I was disappointed. I was disappointed to see that things like this weren't moving there. I mean, there would be easy shippers. Um, I wonder if the pictures, you just can't appreciate what they are when you're looking through them on, um, when you're shopping on eBay for this. So this is definitely going to go in the booth and I'm telling you, 
hitch like this moves in my in my booth so um, you know most most of these pieces are around twenty dollars I'm gonna move this and you know even if I have to reprice it's still fine I mean I I've gotten I will make my money back just off of off of one piece so that's exciting that was that was a great time so let's tuck these guys back in here After we're done chit-chatting, I have stuff to pack up. My eBay, my eBay inventory, I don't know, I've, I'm sure I told you this in one. I keep in boxes because of the dogs and the cats, and I'm still paranoid and scarred from having children um, that I'm so afraid it's going to go get broken if I just set it on a shelf. So, I know it takes space. I have a five-bedroom house. And yes, it's full of my craft supplies, but I um, I will find room to pack the stuff up in its boxes, and, which has been good because I've been reorganizing and getting rid of stuff that I don't need anymore. So that's that's also been a good thing for me. So from there, I left and went to the next place, just just not even a minute down the road. I think it, it's either Great Barrington or Sheffield, Massachusetts. Um, this another antique place called Great Finds, and mm, 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 mm. again, these people, the folks that run the place, were just lovely. And if you looked at my video, because you said you guys were going to check me out, thank you for being so amazing. I think that that's what makes this for me. The people that I come across have just been cool. I like dealing with cool people. I've dealt with a lot of nasty people. Nobody wants that. I had a ball. Daisy was in her stroller. We're rolling around. We're picking things up. Prices were great. I have to, I will make sure, I, I know they have a Facebook page. They talked about that. I'll make sure that there are links for that. Um, again, you could, you could lose a couple hours just walking around and touching things there. It was fantastic. <sighs> Jocelyn Crazy Lamp Lady. I saw not one, but I saw two telephone cord purses there. And I prayed to the eBay gods that the prices that <laughs> that were on their purses, even if I had to swipe a credit card, um, were going to be good enough that I could resell. And I was very sad, very, very sad when the comps did not come back happy enough. Because I got to tell you, I see what you see in them. Okay, so let's get into this box and finish this up. So next, after after I left Great Finds, um, I headed into Connecticut to um, the Habitat for Humanity store. There's three buildings there. Um, and and they had some good things. Some I haven't gone through this to check comps yet. I'm feeling like I should do okay. Some of the stuff was a little pricey, but let's show you what we got. Okay. Actually, this was back at Great Finds. I jumped ahead. I don't know why this spoke to me. There was another vase that I handled for a while. It's not signed, but um, I don't know. I, I love this, so it came home. Not quite sure what price I expect to get out of it, but that's okay. Let's see. I'm looking for my great finds treasures. There we go. 
So this little darling was only $3 at Great Finds. And I tossed her and turned her and spun her around until she was dizzy. And there was nothing wrong with her. Yeah, it's a hobbyist piece, I think. It's signed. But she's cute as the Dickens. I mean, she was well done. So she's going to go in the booth for probably $15, $18. And I love her. And that was that was a great find at, at, at Great Finds. little glass elephant this is cute just a few dollars it wasn't much but these little doohickeys sell very nice in the booth so that's that's where the little art glass paperweights will go uh, little art glass oh I thought it had a chip but it's just the, where it came together here uh, a little art glass bullicante apple it wasn't much but it'll this will bring 12 14 15 dollars at the booth we'll see we'll see when I sit down to price it how much I feel like trying to put on it now these these guys were so fun I couldn't let them sit and you know I'm loving my chickens so what we have here is a salt and pepper shaker. Their, their little tops are salt and pepper shakers. These are the salt and peppers, right? And then their little bodies are sugar or creamer and sugar. And I think they were made in Japan. I don't know, but they're cute as heck. I don't think that these are leaving this house because I love them. I love, I love them. My little rooster and hen, salt and pepper. I think one of them was kind enough to leave the pepper in it because it was everywhere. But that's okay, we'll clean them up and I think we're gonna use them. They are staying here because I love them. They were $16 for the pair and, and they were worth they're worth every $16. And that is what I got at Great Finds. Just those few things, which was okay. We got some great things at Great Finds. So then we left there and went into Connecticut, back into Connecticut, because it was time to start coming home. And we got, um, went to um, our Habitat for Humanity store. I haven't been in there in years. And they must have found out about eBay or something because their prices were a little, yeah. But that's okay. I found some good things. Um, I found some good things. So we'll see. So one of the first things I found was this dish with the lid. I mean, it was five bucks. And it's more modern. But I wanted to bring it home and see. It's from Kiwi Studios. And I'm not sure why. But I feel like I've seen this mark. I haven't taken time to look it up. If you know what it is, and if I was just stupid and paid $5 for something that I didn't need to, um, feel free to tell me. This is how we're learning, right? We're working together here. Um, it was cute. It's in really good shape. So we'll see. I feel like this is going to go to eBay um, as long as the comps are good enough for it. I don't know how happy it would be at the booth, but it's cute. Um, this adorable little peep. It's perfect. It was only a dollar. Can't tell, is that a mark? Oh, does that say Weller? Is that what I just saw? I don't know. If you know who made it, if you saw it, you tell me. We'll learn more. I, I, I just, it was too perfect and too cute to leave. let's sit there for a dollar. So that had to come home. And then there were these three 
little lions. And I don't know what it was that reminded me of, I don't know, I cannot remember the, t was it the Fisher Price toys, the farm animals that were built like this? Is that what that was? I don't know. So it was all three of these little lions. Oh, her mouth opens and closes. Look at that. Rawr. Okay. For a dollar. And I mean, they're in pretty good shape. I don't know. I can't wait to look up. I mean, I don't know. I, well, I won't be heartbroken if they're not worth a lot. I'll put them on the shelf or give them to the kids to play with, but they had to come home. I, I couldn't leave. I couldn't leave them behind. Uh, I found these Lou Ray, uh, cup and saucers a couple weeks ago. Rich and I found, um, some more of these pastels at, um, our Goodwill. So I, I think I have enough now to make a set of four of just the yellow, but are they better off to do in the rainbow of colors or I don't know that that's, that's why I went ahead and picked them up. Um, just so I can make more of the set because what I have was definitely incomplete sets, but I hear that, that they're collectible even though the comps aren't so great. I was a little disappointed when I comped them out before, but uh, you know what? We have half of the sets now, so we're just gonna we're just gonna run with it. And they were in such good shape. I think I paid three dollars for the whole for all four pieces. So that I'm not gonna complain about. That 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 wasn't bad. On this ring dish it was 50 cents uh, made in Japan and it was it was in good shape I mean the roses and the petals and everything and the flowers um, they're fine so um, yeah I don't know maybe eBay maybe that'll go on one of my little auctions and then I found these other two little um, I don't know. I don't think they're butter pats. I think they're ring trays, ring dishes for your dresser, maybe earrings. Um, they were 50 cents each and cute. They're not signed. For 50 cents, I wasn't expecting them to be anything, anything more than what they are. So these may go to the booth, I think, is where they're going to end up. And I got two Wedgwood Queenswear ashtrays. This one was $4. This one was 6 I think I'll put these in the booth. I have a couple of things in there. I don't know. Wedgwood. I mean, I sold some holiday stuff, which just blew my mind. Um, because everybody said the holiday stuff, you can't give away Wedgwood that are dated Christmas things, but they sold this year. And I didn't put a horrible price on them. I, I wasn't cheap, but I wasn't, um, you know, I wasn't. I wasn't too afraid to price them, and they, and they went. So we'll see. Um, we'll see what happens with that. And then I got two of these uh, square Wedgwood salad plates, the Queensware, Wed Queensware Wedgwood. I feel like these might go on eBay. I mean, they're in excellent condition. I got both of these for eight dollars. Um, like I said, I have some other Queensware plates at the, at the booth, and and they're just not. So we'll see. We'll see what the comps look like. Either way, either way, that they have a place to go. So eventually, what they will sell, right? Everything sells, right, Kevin? That's what you tell us. Um. So then I found this frosted, I mean, the eagle, his beak is still perfect. I couldn't believe that. Um, it's a bicentennial, I don't know, the writing I couldn't really see. And all these little important dudes, past presidents, I'm sure, founding fathers, I don't know. I don't know why I get the hunch of what this is. Is this Ellie Smith? Something like, I don't know. I haven't looked. I haven't, I haven't finished looking it up. Um, I paid eight. 
I don't know. I feel like in my mind, 18, 20, 20 couple I'll be able to get for this. Um, but you tell me. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. I mean, maybe it was crazy. Luckily, the Habitat for Humanity is a good thing. And they do a lot of good. Because <laughs> I spent some money with them. I mean, to me. To me, it's a lot of money. I'm sure others go and they just... But to me, it was... I did okay. And then I found this Delph ashtray, which I just think the shape of it is crazy cool. I mean, the lady was so cute. I paid, what did I pay for? $5. And she's like, you could put like a bar of soap in there. I'm like, it's an ashtray because the cutout, literally, it's right there. It's, it's an ashtray. <laughs> but we'll see. I don't know what the comps are. I mean, there's no stains or cigarette burns or anything inside. No chips, no cracks. I mean, it's adorable. I don't know. I don't know, maybe it's really only worth $5, but we'll see. And then I found another Delft um, bell. Still has its sticker inside. You can see. And it's in good shape. No chips or cracks. I think there's a little crazing. Yeah, there's some crazing to it, but it's okay. It's cute. And I, I this is marked Germany. Salt. I don't know. I loved it. I loved it. This is too fancy for me. It's not something I will plan on keeping. Um, there is some damage here to its hook, but I mean it's old. I'd expect if there's going to be damage on it that it's definitely going to be there. Um, yeah. I don't know. It looks like it's missing like a piece of a leather strap or a lace. Somebody tell me. Um, I mean, I'm sure I could put something in there. What, twine or something? I don't know. I'm sure I get something here. So tell me. I mean, it's, it's adorable. Yeah, Germany. It's pretty. So I think that's the end of my treasures. It was a great day. And it was fun hanging out with you this afternoon going through and just showing you what I came across this weekend. I think my total spent yesterday for everything was right around $100, give or take. Um, which I, I will be making some money. I'll make my money back off of this stuff for sure. So if you like this, if you had a good time hanging out with me, give me a thumbs up. I mean, I understand if you give me a thumbs down. Um, I appreciate it anyway. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you don't like. Subscribe. Keep watching. I mean, we're trying to pay bills here. We're trying to do good. So... Um, let's do this together. Tell me how you're trying to pay down your debt and what you're using other than just working your nine to five to, to get on top of what you need to. Um, we're in this together. Let's get creative. Let's find ways to, to be interesting and pay off our debt and, and find things to do. So we're not stuck in just because we're middle aged. We don't have to sit on the couch. You don't have to just sit back and just wait for life to come and retirement to come. Like, let's let's keep life interesting, okay? So um, with that, I'm going to go and try and get some things listed and need to make some more money because that $8 tube of toothpaste is not going to pay off anybody's credit card next week. So <laughs> let's go and make some money. You be well, you be safe, you be happy, and I will see you in the next video.